Tonight we're joined by Cameron Burns from Crisis Services. Cameron, the public often seems surprised when we learn that somebody wealthy or someone is famous, is struggling with mental health issues or depression. Um, a smile can really be deceiving, can it? Yeah, yeah, and especially when that person is their careers around being happy and being upbeat, right? That can even be sometimes more isolating for folks that are struggling. You know, we never know what's going on in somebody's home privately. Certainly social media and the internet and TV shows aren't real life. That doesn't really show the fullness of somebody's existence. Um, but especially when you have all this positive attention on you and you're supposed to be upbeat and you're supposed to be positive, and then you don't feel that inside can be a really big struggle and it can be confusing for that person's fans and for the public as well. Sure, in this time of year too, when mm -hmm. uh, the holidays roll around, um, I've read that people battling depression even struggle so much more, why is that? So the holidays can be tough, it can be isolating. You know, not everybody is part of their family of origin, you know, the family they were born into, so seeing reminders of those types of things can be really tough. You know, we don't see rates of suicide increase around the holidays. Um, we see con people continuing to reach out and people expressing that they're struggling. But it's, it's part of that. And then the weather, the coldness, especially mm -hmm. where we live, can be really isolating. You're stuck inside. You're not able to go out and get some fresh air and go for a walk and be around your community, right? So that can be really isolating as well. Uh, there's a lot of factors that play into that, but really, you know, not having those people around you like you feel a lot of pressure that you should can be really hard for some folks that are already struggling. And how best to open that conversation if you suspect someone you know is struggling? Yeah. How do you open the door? So it's pretty easy checking in on your friends and family. You know, we did a lot of this when we were in the height of the COVID lockdowns, you know, checking in on your friends and family of, hey, are you okay? What's going on? Do you need somebody to talk to? And then it's really easy to just give that person resources on, you know, where they can reach out to. Certainly we don't expect people in the community to, you know, save every life and be responsible and feel that responsibility. But if they can open that door to talking about what's going on, talking about how they're feeling, and then get that person to the resources in their community, that can be huge and that can save a life. So where should we send them? What's the best thing to do? So in Erie County, your number one resource is crisis services. We are Erie County's only 24-hour crisis center. We are the Suicide Prevention Center for Erie County. Um, so we are there 24 seven, 365. You know, we're there during COVID lockdowns. We're there during seven feet of snow. There's always somebody on the phone, a trained hotline counselor, ready to talk with folks. And then we can take further steps of further mental health treatment with folks. Um, but that first phone call of reaching out and saying that you need some support, is huge and you know people can reach out early it doesn't have to be a crisis it doesn't have to be somebody who's suicidal right now somebody who's feeling down who's lonely who just needs somebody to talk to they can give us a call and there is if you need the number in an emergency situation you don't have the crisis services number handy there is a national number as well yeah. is there not yeah, the National Suicide Prevention Hotline is 988. That just changed in July. So that's so all you have to dial that's is That's all you have to dial. And that's answered locally at Crisis Services too. Oh, so it goes right to it us. It goes right to us. So you could call our 716-834-3131 phone number, or you can call 988. And you're still getting local in-person services to Erie County. So you're getting those same trained counselors. Mm -hmm. You know, we've been answering that National Suicide Prevention Hotline number since 2005, since it wow. started. So, you know, we really want people to know it's established, it's local to you, so we can really provide that support for people in Erie County too. Yeah, there are people that have situational struggles. It doesn't necessarily yeah. mean a diagnosis of depression, but Absolutely. talking to an expert can really help them determine that, whether there needs to be a next step beyond a phone call. Yeah, and giving them coping skills of ways that they can, in their home, help themselves too, right? If they're feeling heightened, they're feeling triggered, breathing techniques, grounding techniques, things that they can use on their own, um, writing in a journal, whatever it is that that's, that person is going to need, we can really help work with them on those techniques to help them feel safer in their own home. Crisis Services is really such a great resource. Cameron yeah. Burns, thanks so Thank much for Thank you so much for us. having me. Thank you.